Okay, so here we are out in the shop, uh, getting ready to do what's going to ultimately be the last window on the 60 Biscayne. And I wanted to show you, this is the stuff here that's actually the problem. This is the new repop, reproduced uh, channel, we call it, that the glass actually seats into. And this is the original piece here. Uh, and the original piece had little clips, which I've now removed, and very laboriously straightened out these little tiny tangs that basically act like staples and have carefully marked the new one here um, where I have to drill four little holes and get those tangs in there along with some JB Weld glue to, to make them grip. There's 11 of them. And once I've got that channel ready, it's really, really challenging to get it uh, installed where it lives here in these channels in, in the window itself in the car. Um, and then down inside of that space in the quarter panel, once we've got these guys made, we've got to install the actual regulator, which is what the crank does. The crank fits on here, goes up and down, makes things move. We've got to install the fuzzies on the edges of the door. We've got to put the track. All these pieces have been carefully restored. This is the thing I was complaining about the other day that I had to uh, weld new rollers onto and sandblast, clean it out real good, paint it, so forth, and install the new glass with the glass setting tape and everything that's required for that job. And the track that the little rollers roll in. But then eventually, eventually, here's the Biscayne, all happy with its brand new windshield, looking good. Everything's date coded. The date we believe I, we picked was... Uh, December 1959, which corresponds to the January build date for the car. But now, the car finally can do something this evening that it hasn't been able to do for rather a while. So, I've got the bride helping. She's videoing the rest of this. We've got uh, the ability to do this. We can grab a handle in here. And there's a rear window. <laughs> Mike, the body guru, was here today and willing to come and help me for a few hours. And we got this figured out. I won't say it's perfect, but we've got it to where it's good enough and acceptable. Um, and the window is working very nicely and smoothly. So we're going to say we're satisfied with that. That's big. So one more rear window to go, and that nightmare will be over. We've also got, I can show you a little bit better here, the, the rear glass is in the car. Um, that's the one I was talking about. The stainless steel trim on this piece actually gets installed in the rubber. It's a different process than installing the windshield. That's why it does not yet have it stainless. Um, listen to that door close. How does that work? Like that. And... The windshield won't get its stainless trim for a little while. It takes a couple days for that goop to dry thoroughly. But there's a nice little video update for you. Getting close to being done with the windows, and then it'll come electrical and wiring the instruments in the dash. Over and out.